Princess Mononoke is a weird movie. It's weird, it's beautiful, and that is all that needs to be said. I imagine I made a few of y'all a little angry with that last comment, but honestly, this movie is quite beautiful, and I liked it a lot. Uh, the story is about a young prince named Ashitaka, um, which might be one of the few times I actually get his name right in this video. But it's about this young prince named Ashitaka, and he sort of... At the beginning of the film, he defends his village from this wild boar sort of spirit. And uh, it's a spirit that was corrupted by a forest demon, as we learn to understand it. And uh, he eventually kills it, but it touches him and puts a curse on him. And he's like, well, all right, I'm not cool with that. So he goes and leaves his village, but his village also kind of kicks him out a little bit, but it's sort of underplayed. But, yeah, the village just straight up kicks him out. As he's like, well, bye, Felicia. If you don't want me, I won't be here. And that's how our story begins. And he has to head east to figure out where that boar came from. And he runs across people hired in town, and we sort of, we run into this sort of evil lady who runs Iron Town, whose name I'm blanking out on. Uh, she's played by, like, Mindy Gibson, maybe? Uh, I'll put her name up. There's gonna be actually a lot of names being put on the screen, possibly, because I don't remember characters' names except Ashitaki. Um, but yeah, we run into her, and we learn that Apparently the folks of Iron Town, the people of Iron Town, are at war literally with nature. Uh, they are fighting these wolf creatures who has a princess named Princess Mononoke. And that's where the title of the film comes from. And it's pretty cool. It's not sort of a black and white thing. There's some reasons. There are some good reasons of why. Um, the uh, leader of Iron Town is doing what she's doing. Uh, she's trying to defend her city of Iron Town from this evil emperor guy. And uh, the forest, the, the wolves, um, also have some shady motivations too. Not only do they want to keep their forest alive, but they're also kind of overly aggressive, especially once the boars come. And we sort of get a, uh, uh, we sense some hostility between the wolves and the other boars that show up to offend, or to avenge their friend, uh, uh, Rocco, Rocco's death. And it's fairly interesting. I do have some issues with the movie, but it, it's a pretty sad flick for, uh, like 14 year old and older to watch this is an animated movie and Studio Ghibli especially by the particular director that this is directed by whose name I don't know sorry first this is my first Studio Ghibli movie forgive me but um, the guy typically does more um, family friend friendly uh, movies like Spirited Away and some other stuff. Well, this guy decided to take a little bit more of a more mature approach. And there are some scary images in this film. Uh, I watched it on HBO Max and HBO Max had a P213 for like violence. And it is most certainly violent. Um, there aren't a lot of instances of violence, but there are a few. And there are some shocking few. Uh, there are when the original boar is killed, his flesh rots away because he was cursed by a demon, or he was being affected by a demon. And, you know, uh, some limbs fly off, and there are heads being dis... You know, there are some heads being decapitated and stuff, and we see it. Um, uh, when we first meet 
are one of the first times we meet. Princess Mononoke, she's spitting blood. Uh, you know, she's sucking, I guess, poison or something like that. She, she's, for some reason, sucking blood out of the womb of a, of a, uh, of a wolf and spitting it out. I'm assuming because that wolf got poisoned or something like that. This is a fairly violent and bloody film. So, yeah, if you like that kind of stuff, check it out. Um, yeah, th this video, or this movie is fairly recommended. The music is beautiful, especially towards the end. Um, there's this nice piano music that I'm hopefully playing for y'all right now. Unless I uh, get copyright claimed and I have to take it out the video. Um, hope it don't happen. I hope that doesn't happen. But yeah, I honestly do like this film quite a bit. Um, it's a good flick, like I said. It's on HBO Max. Um, and I enjoyed it. And uh, comment below, let me know if you want to see more Studio Ghibli uh, related videos or whatnot, because they have quite a few of their movies on here. And uh, yeah. Remember, God means especially loves you very much. Comment below, let me know what your favorite uh, Studio Ghibli movie is, or uh, what your favorite part of Princess Mononoke is. And uh, yeah, God bless. Bye.